here is your large green tea with extra honey, Dr. Charles. Thank you, Olivia. Dr. Charles, do you have a minute? Yeah, of course. What's going on? Uh, my, uh, my mom came in earlier. I think you saw. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was hoping that you might talk to her. She has a MRSA infection, but she won't get treatment for it. Oh, boy. Yeah, she's always been this way. Huh. I can't even get her to commit to taking her blood pressure medication, much less intravenous antibiotics. Frustrating, right? Yeah. She and I kind of speak a different language. It's kind of why I was hoping that you might have a better chance of changing your mind. Happy to give it a shot. Um, anything else you think that I should know? You'll see pretty quickly what you're up against. Okay. <laughs> Just, you know, don't want to be flying blind, that's all. It's complicated, my mom and I. My dad left before I could even remember. We spent my childhood bouncing from apartment to apartment, sometimes leaving in the middle of the night to avoid paying the last month's rent. Pretty chaotic. Yeah. At the time, I thought it was normal. It was all I knew. And she wanted to make a home for us. She really tried. She just couldn't get out of her own way. H how do you mean? She couldn't hold down a job. She'd mouth off to a boss, get fired. Right. She started drinking, started using. We wound up on the street. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure she has some undiagnosed mental illness. Right. Yeah, you'll see. I thoroughly appreciate how absolutely brutal this must be for you. And I also get how it might really simplify your ability to treat your mom if I were to declare her incompetent. If that's what it takes. But you also know that in order for me to take away a patient's decisional capabilities, it's they just have to meet a very specific set of criteria. And I just, I just don't want you to get your hopes up, OK? But I'm only too happy to speak to your mom. And I, I just really appreciate all the detail you give me, OK? Thank you. You bet.